Hey everybody, Nick here with Rogue Overland. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through an unboxing of the Oxbeam RA80 XL Series switch panel. First off, if you're a returning viewer, thanks for being here. We really appreciate your support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like outdoor and off-road content, consider checking out some of our other videos. We do everything from gear review videos to adventure videos, trail review videos, and rig walk around videos. As discussed earlier, I'm gonna be taking you through an unboxing of the RA80 XL Series switch panel from Oxbeam. Now they did reach out to us and ask if we would do a review of this particular product. And on Conius, our solid axle swap Nissan Xterra has been running old school toggle switches and relays for as long as I can remember. And so it seemed like a really good idea. We have experience with other companies who produce switch panels uh, and Testing this one out seemed like a great idea. And, and as usual with our review videos, once we have had plenty of time using this product and we have a good understanding of what we feel the pros and cons are, we'll put out a review video. As discussed in our other review videos and unboxing videos, you can go through all the deep specs about the product. You can go over to their website and you can read all that. I'm not gonna list it all out here and bore you. A couple of key features though that are worth commenting on is the RGB technology. And that is where you're able to basically change the colors of the switches to pretty much any color that you want. It does have the waterproof rating. And then additionally, the, the switches have three settings. You have a toggle setting, which is just on off. You have a momentary setting, which is where as long as you hold it, it will be on and then you have an additional uh, flash or strobe setting where when you hit it, it's gonna give you that, that strobing effect, which is, which is great for parties or uh, also for things like your dust lights where you wanna have that visibility when you're rolling with a group in dusty situations. And then the other thing that's cool about the XL series is it's a bigger panel. So it's a five inch panel and the switches are one inch. So when you're in those uh, rock crawling situations or maybe the faster moving situations and you need to get that activated, it's gonna be a little bit easier to just reach down and get to it without having to take your eyes off of the road or off of the obstacle. Uh, we've all been on an obstacle where the tire's in the air, we decide I need the locker, and uh, you don't wanna be fiddling for a long time trying to get that stuff figured out. You wanna be able to just reach down, get that switch flipped or pushed, button pushed in this scenario, and get that locker engaged so you can make your way through that obstacle. So that's kind of a cool thing with this bigger panel. So let's go ahead and dig into this now and see what we have in here. So first off, it came, it comes in the box. So when you get it delivered to you, it's gonna be in the box and then wrapped with basically like a plastic on the outside and then your mailing address and the postage just right on that. So this is basically how it shows up and then um, as you can see from making it through the mail, it pretty good shape, you know, doesn't look super banged up. And when we pop this open here, so we have a really nice foam cover. Keep it safe in transit, a little, little bit of bubble wrap, which is holding your, looks like your instruction manual. And then you have the stickers for stickers for the switches. So you're able to, to basically make that custom, if you will, so you can identify what, what the switches are. So as you can see, it's really nice, um, just, just in there really, really well. Lots of foam around it, nothing's, nothing's really shaking. A um, Little bit of play for this, this box here. Everything else is sturdy, it's not going anywhere. But even with that little bit of play, on the, looks like this is gonna be the relay box. It, it's still, it's surrounded by foam. So we have nice safe packaging for when it's being delivered. Looks like you're getting your, your switch assembly here. So this is, okay, push and pull. You gotta have a little more brain power. So there's that. And then your inside here, that's gonna have your relays and then your connections for your wires. And then this, this, this will be where you're, where you're getting your your main power and your main ground. 
and then the attachment for the switch panel. So there's that. Nice and tidy. Set that right there. And then we have the switch panel itself. So this one here has eight switches. Let's see if you can hear that. It's got that nice clicking sound. So you know if, if you hit the button or not. And then plug for your cable. So there's that. And again, this is gonna be that bigger panel so that in theory, you just reach down, click it. It's gonna be easier to, to activate. And I've run, like I said, several switch panels, different, several different switch panels on different vehicles, and, and including the, the rest of the guys in, in Rogue Overland. And um, one thing that's nice with this one is just gonna be, like we talked about, is the size. So it's gonna make it, make it a little bit easier to get to get to those buttons. And what you wanna do generally is have a pattern that you do when you're, when you're identifying, when you're putting your stickers on so that you know, okay, cool, top left, that's compressor. Second one from the left, that's my rear locker. Third one from the left, that's my front locker. And that way there you just know, boom, okay, I don't even have to look, I can just hit it and I'm good to go. All right, next up we have the, this is gonna be, your main safety relay, so whenever you're wiring stuff, right, you're gonna to wanna to have, have that main safety cutoff. So it has a safety cover over it. Pop that safety cover off, and then basically, if there's a short, then that's just gonna trip. Then you can reset it. So it's a 60 amp, so it looks like this must be a total, total of 60 amps that, that is usable, so there's that. And what else do we have here? We have some hardware. Packaged up nice, and you get that Allen wrench with it. I always find it interesting that stuff always comes with an Allen wrench. Did you ever notice that? No matter what you buy, there's, there's an Allen wrench in there, even if there's no Allen bolts. So I always found that kind of entertaining. All right, nothing else in there. And then we have, this is gonna be your bracket, okay? That's gonna be for mounting the switch panel. And then some wiring. So this is probably some type of, I'm guessing it's some type of uh, uh, power for the switch panel. And that's gonna go right into your fuse block. So you can add an additional, additional thing off of your fuse block. We get a tiny little screwdriver. That's so cute. <laughs> a tiny little screwdriver. And then you have, looks like your, your positive. Connect to auxiliary power. So this is gonna be your switch power, right? So that the system knows when the key is on or off. And then we have a little sign here that says uh, mounting brackets at the bottom of the foam. So we're gonna pull the foam out. Oh wait, oh wait, oh, there's a secret compartment. Look at that, secret compartment. Okay, so underneath there we have your wires. Uh, I'm not sure how much that is. I'm gonna guess that's maybe three feet or so. I'm sure the box says. And then we have the cable connection that's gonna to go to, somebody can tell me in the comments below what this actually is, some type of coax or, but basically that's gonna go from your switch to your, to the relay box. And then, I'm not sure what this is, maybe, maybe some type of back panel, I'm guessing for that, so you can sandwich it on some sheet metal or something. So there's that. Bunch of zip ties. You can never have too many zip ties. I actually put together a, uh, I fixed some a tie rod end, a bent tie rod end once. There was were some guys when we were out with the uh, Dead Man Off Road guys. They bent their tie rod ends in, in uh, zip ties, duct tape, and a couple wrenches. We fixed it, it was pretty cool. You can check out that video up here. I'll, I'll put a link to it and you can, you can watch it if you want. And then, so let's see, then underneath we have, okay, mounting brackets. Okay, so there you go. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if this is the mounting bracket for the switch or for the box, but let's figure that out. But anyway, mounting brackets and, and nice, nice powder coating on those. And then we have an empty box. So there it is. That is everything that you get packaged nice and tidy when you order the switch panel from Oxbeam. 
Now, as with all our products that we test, we like to put it through its paces before we do a review video. So this is not a review video, it's just an unboxing. Once we've really had time to test this product and see how it works, real world application with some aggressive off-roading and some overland trips, then we will do a full review video and let you know how it held up. If you enjoyed this video, consider smashing that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like outdoor and off-road content and you can check out our other social media pages at Rogue Overland and we'll see you on the trail.